Hello there, wonderful people. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, thank you for watching this video and for yeah taking your time for this. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about limiting beliefs and why we shouldn't just get rid of them, but actually maybe use them for a good purpose. And also we can reframe that. So this is one NLP and coaching tool that uh, yeah coaches really like to use. And I really like it because it helped me also to um, yeah, transform or reframe some of my negative beliefs that I realized they weren't yeah, bringing me anywhere good. So first we have to become aware that having limiting beliefs is not so bad <laughs> as it sounds. We will always have some of them. So it will, it, it will never just disappear. However, we just have to become aware they have a good intention, they have a good purpose. It's just they do that in very ineffective way. So usually those negative beliefs love to protect us from certain danger or something that can happen outside of our world. And uh, for that purpose, yeah, as I said, it uses rather ineffective methods on a long term. Because fear, for example, can be really good in certain life danger situations because, yeah, it makes you react immediately and save your life. However, if you use it on a long term, um, yeah, on a long term period, it can bring you to depression, anxiety and so on and so on. So this is just another story. However, as I said, just first, we have to become aware of what's what's good about this negative belief because something has to be good about it. And um, you can do that by asking yourself, for example, if you have a belief that um, you are very uh, unorganized, let's say very chaotic. So, and you say that, usually when people say, I am chaotic, um, they say that they are chaotic everywhere, all the time, in their private life, in professional life, however, they said, like, it's everywhere. And you can then ask yourself or ask the person, where can this actually serve you? In which area of your life this belief can be useful for you? Because being chaotic actually sometimes is very, very purposeful. It can be good because it gives you a certain freedom and permission to just do certain things however you want to do, you know, doing just whatever you feel like doing it. So in certain areas, it can be very useful. So it's not always everything negative about it. It can be used for good purposes, so to say, but you have to become aware of it and you have to ask yourselves because questions are triggering neurological pathways in our brain. And this is how you make certain changes in awareness. Therefore, yeah, coaches love to ask questions <laughs> and uh, they're very, very helpful because yeah, it raises the awareness. Uh, on the other hand, for example, you can have a negative belief of um, making decisions too fast or I don't know how to make it like being being very, very fast in, in, in certain situations, overreacting or so. This can sound as something very uh, limiting. It can also be applied everywhere in your life. You can always be too fast. You're way up in front. However, you can again ask yourself in which situations being fast is actually good. For example, it can be in certain situations and we all have them when you have to make fast decisions. So in these situations, you can really use this. You can really use this like belief that you are too fast sometimes. Then use it wisely. Be aware of it and say, okay, now I can use it as my resource. So yeah, I just wanted to, how to say, trigger certain questions in yourself and to also use it in your communication and ask people around you when they say, oh, I'm too afraid or I don't know, I'm too curious. Just ask them in which situation can this be can this really be useful for you? For example, again, curiosity. I think I'm very curious. And some people also told me that they are very curious and they are interested in everything. And this can actually be a very good resource because curious people learn very fast. So in certain situations when you need to learn something fast and you're interested in it, you can use this curiosity. So, as I said, just don't try to delete or get rid of your limiting beliefs. Rather, see in which situations you can actually use them as a resource and reframe them, kind of, you know? Just put a put certain focus and perspective onto it. So use it when you need it 
and when you see that it's harming you and not yeah it doesn't bring you anywhere further then become aware of it and just don't do it <laughs> don't follow that belief you have to become aware of that and of course this is something that needs yeah it's a lifelong learning it cannot be learned over a day <laughs> over a year or so some yes some not but usually it's a lifelong learning so yeah just uh, would like really to it's like try to inspire you to to try to ask yourself what are my negative beliefs what am i believing in that doesn't serve me in general and then ask yourself when where and in which situation can this be useful because it must be somewhere it's useful otherwise you wouldn't have it so yeah i hope that this was useful and if you have any thoughts about it if this sounds very weird or so please let me know i would really like to exchange your exchange our opinions and yeah inspire each other and trigger ourselves to work on ourselves more so yeah guys thank you so much and yeah take care bye